So the Einstein Choice Study was initiated to explore the outcome in patients who have had a venous thromboembolism or a VTE uh, treated either with 20 milligrams of rivaroxaban once a day, 10 milligrams of rivaroxaban once a day, or the active comparator of aspirin. So the patients in Einstein Choice were those who had a VTE, a venous thromboembolism event, and had undergone a definitive period of treatment, either 6 or 12 months, of anticoagulation treatment for their VTE. And the real issue that Einstein Choice addresses is what do physicians do and what do patients do when they've got to the end of that treatment period. So there is debate and there is uncertainty, or as it's described in uh, the manuscript in New England Journal that accompanies the, the study, there is equipoise to try and understand what do we do now. Do we stop treatment or do we continue for further therapy? Well, the trial was uh, fascinating. So it showed that the use of Rivaroxaban at either dose, 20 milligrams once a day or 10 milligrams once a day, substantially reduced the patient's risk of having another thromboembolism event. A venous thromboembolism is an important condition. We know it's the third leading cause of vascular death in patients after a heart attack or a stroke. So it's a very serious condition. And the use of rivaroxaban here for this extended period substantially reduced that down from about 4.5% down to 1.5, 1.2% for the rivaroxaban. So very, very compelling, very robust result. So I think the magnitude of effect was surprising. Uh, this, keep in mind, is up against the active comparative aspirin, which is the current standard of care for these patients to be treated. So even compared to that, there was a 70-75% relative risk reduction in the risk of this important clinical point.